Good morning children. I am your social science teacher. Today I am going to continue with the chapter Electoral Politics. See children, in the previous topic I have taught you about how electoral voting takes place I have taught you and how the party people should be there I have taught you children. In the foremost last topic I have taught you that any person who stands for the election and wins he has to work for the sake of the people. He should not motivate himself that I have come to power. No, I am so and so. He should not be very happy and sit idle. Okay, he has to work for the sake of the people, for the country, for the state children. So, I'll continue my chapter. Today's topic is, what is our system of election? What is our system of election when I say what is our system of election it is nothing but elections are held in India in Loka Sabha and Vidana Sabha children we have Loka Sabha and Vidana Sabha. Member of the Parliament, Member of the Legislative Assembly we are going to have children. And that too, we will have it regularly for every five years once. Every five years once, we are going to have the election children. Understand? So, after five years, the term of the elected representatives comes to an end. You all know that. After the fifth year, he has to, he or she has to again stand for the election and the election takes place children. So, here, elections held in all the constituencies at the same time either on the same day or within a few days is called as a general election. This is called as general election. Why do we call it as general election is, see children, sometimes throughout the country, in all the states, at a time the election cannot take place. So, it, the dates will be fixed by the government of India. If it is a state election, it will be fixed by the state government of the country state each state will fix the date and we are going to have the elections that is general elections we are going to have it sometimes elections are held only for one constituency to fill the vacancy caused by death or resignation of a member this is called as by election see children now by chance your area MLA, he doesn't want to continue his post. He will resign because he wants to go and join. If he is a BJP, he wants to go and join for the Congress. So what he will do is he will resign the job. So in that place, now there is a vacuum over there. There is nobody to take care. So at that time, they will again have an election to fill the gap over there. That election is called as by-election. Keep it in mind, it is not general election, it is by-election here children. The next topic here is electoral constituency. See children here. India is divided into different areas for the purpose of elections. These areas are called electoral constituencies. The voters who live in an area elect one representative. Understand children? Each person 
will have one valuable vote. One person, one vote. One value, it will be there. See children, when I say Lokasabha Sabha elections in India, Lokasabha Sabha elections in India is divided into 543 candidates. It is 543 candidates, sorry, constituencies children. Five hundred and forty-three constituencies we will have the representative elected from each constituency is called a member of parliament. I have told you he will be called as a member of the parliament. MP we call it call them as no. So and each state is divided into a specific number of assembly constituencies. In this case, the elected representative is called the member of the member of legislative assembly. That is MLA children. Yeah. Got it. Each parliamentary constituency has within it several assembly constituencies. Understand? So, here the same principle applies for panchayat and even for municipal elections also children. And each village or town is divided into several wards and that are like constituencies. And each ward elects one member of the village or the urban local body. Sometimes children... These constituencies are counted as seats for each constituency represents one seat in the assembly. So this is about today's topic children. I will continue in my next class. See once again I will do you the revision of today's topic. Why should we have elections every five years we have studied about because we will need changes. Sometime there won't be any change like see in 2014 we had our Prime Minister Modi. Narendra Modi was our Prime Minister. So again in 2019 he is the same person continuing because people has loved him for the work. What is doing for the sake of the country for the people of the country. So they have re-elected him. How do they elect Modi? I will be te how ma'am. We, we are in a, in di, India has got indirect elections children. We don't have direct election. Whereas, see children, in America, it is a direct election. They directly elect the president over there. That was Trump and it was Clinton's wife last time who contested for the election. Their symbols were elephant and donkey it was. Only two people were there. People will directly vote over there. But here, indirect election takes place in India because we have got 543 constituencies. So, the majority of constituencies to one party if they are there. So, the party head will decide who will become the Prime Minister of our country children. So, this is about today's topic I have done. And what is electoral politics? For Lok Sabha elections, India is divided into 543 constituencies. And it is member of the parliament that is MP. And for the state it is MLAs, member of the legislative assembly. And so the principle applies for panchayat, municipal elections and each village or town is divided into several wards that are like constituencies children. So thank you all children. Have a nice day. Here also I have given you a few question and answers and a small worksheet will be given to you all. Work it out and write the question and answers in your classwork. Complete the classwork, children. Thank you once again. Have a nice day.